Usually when you're making a souffle, you need to separate the eggs, whisk the egg whites and then mix in a different sauce. I've got a cheats version for you. So for the base of this, we'll need two zucchinis. I don't like the large ones because they lack a lot of flavour. So a medium size is perfect. We're going to cut them into four and then into pieces. Now, this is all going to be blended into a puree, so you don't have to be pedantic, but I do want to make this kind of a quick meal, so you do want to cut them into bite-sized pieces like this. Now, there's many different varieties of this. If you don't want to do zucchini, you could do pumpkin. You could have a sweet potato base, if you like. I like this because it's quite light with the zucchini. So now that that's ready, Let's get cooking. So a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. And I like to use a saute pan that has a lid because we want the zucchini to not only fry but steam at the same time. So in with our zucchini. And we don't need too much colour on this but we do need them to be quite tender. So they're going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook, depending on how you cut them, of course. I'll just coat the zucchini in the oil, always seasoned, so a pinch of salt and some pepper and one clove of garlic. I don't even bother slicing it, just bruise it and in it goes because, again, it's going to be blended. Now, zucchini and thyme, best mates, and I'm just going to pick the leaves off. OK, so you can hear that I've just got a medium heat here. That's what we want. We'll pop the lid on and let that cook away. Now, in the meantime, we can prepare our mould. So I'm just using some classic souffle moulds here. I've just sprayed it with a little oil. And for extra assurance that they come out, I like to use some fine breadcrumbs just like this. So we'll just pour some in, about a teaspoon or so. And you just want to coat all around the base and the sides of the souffle tin. And then all the excess will just shake out and then we'll continue the process. Of course, you can serve these in the mould if you don't want to demold them, but I think it looks fantastic for presentation. So this is why I make sure it's completely foolproof. The moulds are ready. Zucchini has cooked and cooled down. And you do want to cool it down because we're going to be adding some eggs to it. We don't want to scramble it. So we'll pop the zucchini into a food processor. And I love the smell of that thyme in there. Fantastic addition. We'll pop the lid on. And we're just going to blend this until it's a smooth puree. And now we're going to add some cream. So some thickened cream to this, about 120 mils. I just want to show you how fine this mixture should be. Look at that. See how it's a puree? That's what we're after. And that gorgeous colour. Fantastic. So 120 mils in. And we'll just roughly measure that. And some Parmesan cheese. So a sprinkle of that. If you like, you could change this to cheddar cheese. Even blue cheese works a treat too. And a pinch of nutmeg. And again, we'll give that a good blend. Now, while that's blending, the eggs. You'll need five eggs for this recipe. I like to just crack the eggs into the bowl first and one by one, we're going to add them to our food processor. OK, in with our eggs. And this is where I like to just speed it up just to really combine everything quite well. All right, everything is combined, so I'm going to place this mixture into our prepared moulds. They then go into the oven, a low temperature oven, so 160 degrees for a nice even cook for about half an hour. souffles have come out of the oven. I've allowed them to cool slightly and of course with a souffle they will deflate but they're still going to be lovely and light. On this plate I have some gorgeous watercress, got a lovely pepperiness to it and some blue cheese, a squeeze of lemon so we're just dressing this. This is a really nice entree if you want to impress your friends. A little bit of salt always, some pepper, 
blue cheese and pepper, fantastic with each other. And to bring the whole thing together, some olive oil. Now for the main attraction, which is the souffles. I'll take them out of the tray and just with a knife, just loosen it and we'll just turn it out and pop the little souffle just on top. Now it's okay if the watercress leaves wilt slightly. That is a delightful, very elegant way of serving a cheats souffle with zucchini. Very nice.